of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. He's... There is yeah. no book. He's and as for you, Hans, oh boy. we need to work on your communication skills. And have a what? fairly good idea where to start. Hey, he beats that's him? my personal property. Smash Boombox. Tell me about the book. Good Smash Boombox too. <laughs> sure. Battle control. Ha, Do what comes that. naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Can you just talk, damn it! You, this is the thing. Everyone wants me to help, but no one wants to help me. Ah! Uh, it's like, how could you complain? Cut the crap, Georgie. I want and the book. And they're not helping. Talking about everyone Hans bitches and complains again, and no one wants to help. Don't uh, even think about it. Just tell me where it is. I'm gonna have to break something. Look, Georgie. Why don't you just tell me where the book is? Where can is we the please damn not book? go round and round about this? There's no okay, book. That's an unbreaking story. Something. I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> do not touch that. You hear me? It's nothing to do with you. Ah, uh, maybe not. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down. Oh, would you just I cooperate? Was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, we're gonna just freaking lift that up with nothing. Where's well, the key? Well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't yeah. have a key to it. Okay. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give me the book. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We <sighs> fucking get it. This guy. Jesus. You're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Why? Why do you? Why are you trying to hide so much? I don't Two think this women guy. Women are dead. Ah! And quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. <sighs> I don't want to break anything. Else. This is you absolutely might necessary. Stand back. All right. All right. All right. Are you gonna tell me? It was just. No. Oh, I was like, is it just there? Oh, there. Thank you. See? There we go. We did it without violence. We're turning over the new leaf that Bigby wants so bad. That Woody, was really tempting, on, though. That was really tempting to break something to him to talk. But that would have just pissed him off more and he wouldn't want to help me. Yeah, talk to all you want. Open Once the safe. Again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's gonna get the balls for me and my club so he can be happy oh. about that. Wow. He has too much cash on him. Wow. He makes a lot of money. Wow. Then again, I guess this place would not be a great place to keep your money, even when it's in a floor safe. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Uh, Smith? F. Rogers. Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake yeah, name. Yeah, that's definitely a pseudo name. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. 207. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your yeah, girl. Not my knows. fucking secretary. I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. <sighs> but let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their Hello. clients, not she me, gonna help? the girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside she knows. the club, I saw that's that on them. Out. I love She's the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. That's nice. Uh, complain that I interrogated you. Go ahead. I really don't cur. No curs are within me. Can I talk to Hello? you? Hello? Business office. Let's see what happens when I look at him. Well, what? What am I looking at? Oh. Was he Georgie. Did he just glitch out? Did it just say pie? Putting pie? Does it glitch out? Yeah, he just disappears. <laughs> Lol, yeah, glitches. Right. Yeah, that's that's totally right. Could we examine this more? What's that? What else is in here? Steal the money. Examine, pick up. Oh god, I don't want to take it, but let's see. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. No, I'm putting the money back. I'm not taking it. Does he not care that I'm just like you know, 
examining the cache. Okay, let's go. I don't think there's anything there for me. Is there, is there anything else over there? No. I don't give a rat's ass about that. Just fuck off and fetch him for me, alright? No, he's not doing it. Get out of here. No one cares, okay? Okay, the only place we can see him to go is over here, so let's head inside. No, I don't want to. Yeah, you want to. Hello? Oh boy, where is she? Oh boy, is she hiding on me? Cubby? Lily, ooh. Well, it's empty. She just packed out of here. Faith, oh, poor Faith. Even though I get the suspicion she could very well be alive still. Lock's been busted open. Oh. See, what if someone put glamour on Faith's body as well, and that was just never broken? Broken open. But there isn't even a lock. Uh, let's take a look at the cosmetics. Yeah, it looks lipstick, like face lip lipstick. Gloss, compact. Well, not that I'd really know, but it's just lipstick, and I know she's wearing lipstick. Faith. Yeah, okay, it was Faith. Oh, poor Faith. But she could very well be alive still. Faith, I mean, the snow's still alive. Thanks she could for be. covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Uh, <gasps> was Lily killed because like she they knew? Both saw one of Lily's clients. Uh, is there anything else? Doesn't look like. Okay, let's keep walking. Interesting. So it looks like Lily might have been killed because she knew who it was. Excuse me. Okay, this wasn't I beauty. I heard you out there. What do you know? I don't remember You're ever dead seeing next. you here before. Didn't have a reason. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Lost yeah. cat's pixel. You smile. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. What? Did legs? Not a glamour. Or th I think after thirty years, no, mermaids real. can. Do you like them? Oh. They cost me a lot. Oh, that that was some One Piece thing, or after mermaids turn thirty, they My could actually their legs like, split, and then they could well live on land. Marissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Mr. Smith, 207. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I That's... assumed it was a room number, but where? Is there an apartment here, perhaps, that I they always go to? Work. Yes, you... This Good is a God! Case. People are dying! What is... No one wants to help me! Nobody wants to help me! Discretion is our guarantee. Oh, so that's where these lips are sealed comes from. It's how things work here. Come on. I'm disappointed. I hoped you'd be helpful. Oh, she's gonna help at the last second. Marissa? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have entry. to know. Uh, actually, I guess I was the woodsman. These lips. Well, maybe, what's Mr. Or it's, what's the woodsman's pseudo name? Sheriff Wolf. Would you like to make an appointment with me? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What exactly are you suggesting? It's gonna be funny we when I do this. We make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. <laughs> that hint. Okay. Oh. Okay. What would oh, I need you to know do? what? I bet there's some spell placed on this place that if you talk about something, something happens. It's not good to be short. I don't have it. This isn't enough, but it's all I've got. What is it? <laughs> Looks like maybe thirty bucks. Oh boy. Wait here for a second. Well, I mean, this place is supposed to open in an hour. Oh, we pocket. Oh, wait, oh yeah, but you had that book anyways. This place is supposed to open in an hour, but there's gonna be no strippers. She's the only one that's here, so. 204. Not 207? That's not a room. That room probably for Lily. I'll think of something. Yeah, like opening the door. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. 
I hope you find what you're looking for. Me seven. <laughs> Sorry, that's all I can think of. That song's in my head now. Quick cash. Really? A cop and a prostitute. Okay, then that's. Why would you be wearing your cop uniform? Really? That's not weird at all. <laughs> Hides his face. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's gonna be inside here. Interesting how the loading screen itself, it's kind of in the shape of a flower of the Bronx. I really gotta pee. <laughs> yeah. I need a schmuck. There's a cola machine. Smile, you're on camera. Okay. Let's check out this la or these last few fable books we've gotten. Book of Fables. All right, Mr. Georgie, let's see what your book says. Georgie runs Pudding and Pie, a strip club that also caters to the un unmentionable desires of Fable Town citizens. He, uh, he has tried just about everything else there is to try, pursuit of a worldly, worldly pleasures, but none of it satisfies him for long. He doesn't seem to quite enjoy pushing people's buttons. He takes pride in his nightclub and doesn't uh, react well to anyone meddling in his affairs. All right. Okay. Clever hands, clever hands. The bounce of gin and the honey mud, yeah, yeah. Clever hands. Always does exactly as he's told, yeah. Uh, however, he's often misunderstood his instructions and ends up hurting himself or behaving oddly, as, as in the case he's noted fable, uh, where he threw sheep's eyes at his wife. What? He threw sheep's eyes at his wife. Okay. Unsurprisingly, she left him, and now Hans Wicks and a bouncer at George's club. He hopes to dance on stage one day, but for now he's content sweeping and doesn't, sh um, and making sure the crowd doesn't get out of hand. Yeah. And Narissa. And Narissa's story never had a happy ending. She knows a little mermaid, the young girl who gave up her tail for a pair of legs in hopes of winning the heart of a handsome prince. When he married a princess instead, Narissa was left heartbroken. She made the journey to the mundane world. Uh, world, uh, hoping for a better life, a butter life, and now she dances at the pudding and pie, but each step she takes feels like walking on shards of glass. She has very little left, but finds some comfort in the company of her fellow dancers. Aww, that's so sad. Is there anything else? Yeah, my name is Hans. <laughs> oh, god dang it, I wonder, oh, I missed these. It's weird, what's with the one, twos, and like five? Oh, that's the episodes that are unlocked in. Uh. I missed one in episode one, it seems, then. Well, okay, let's take a look. It's the soda machine. Yeah, Hans. Yeah. That's probably gonna be my favorite character ever. Oh, yeah. True. True. That's why I drink it all the time. <laughs> oh, I get the irony. It's because he's smoking. It's weird. The smoke actually stayed there after you left. That's cool. Cool little effect. I oh. should probably repair that. Who broke that? That's swinging. That was just broken. I don't know, unless it's just air conditioning. Like the lobby, they should cut their rates. Yeah. No refunds. No, oh, maybe we shouldn't do that yet. Maybe there's no one even here. Ring the bell. Ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding, ding. Hello. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Who's this? Oh, it's Beauty. <gasps> oh, uh. Beauty. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. <laughs> yeah. So, I work at the front you desk. Know. Only the front desk. I know desk. I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. Yeah. I will, I will. Oh I just boy, we're gonna run the Beast after own this. Time. Just By do way, it. You're gonna get me and for shit. For me. So, uh, what are you doing uh, here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. So the victim was I'm someone who worked at the pudding and pie. Lily. She uh come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes, the the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but 
Hot. She came off a tad intimidating. Hot, hot. Sorry. Do you know? Did you know Faith? Ever see Lily with anyone? Oh. Ever see Lily with someone here? Mm. Maybe on a job. Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. <laughs> I think the last ones are jokes. Yeah. Did you know Faith? Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end oh of the boy. night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. That's okay. Have you seen Snow Have here? Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked huh. a lot like her, but she, she didn't her say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't Snow and went about my business. Yeah. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him or his brother? I oh took boy. out a loan. Speedy gonna pain. die. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? Probably not the it best was idea. From the crooked man. Oh, that's their Beauty. boss. You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? We can help I out. I tried. Oh, they're waiting in line. Oh, that's sad. Thanks. Can you stop Wait, freaking littering like that? It'll oh. be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Oh, boy. Beast, <gasps> Beast is going to see me walking around with her in this hotel. Five minutes. Please. Oh, we'll boy. See. Beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Oh, the screen just went to a red tinge. That was weird. I mean, it's sunset. Oh, boy. I mean, someone's going to die soon, probably. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine. It's just that I was wondering uh, if probably. I need to be in it. Yep. Probably do. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not lie. like Beast would ever see you report. It's just... You're asking me to lie. I'm not going to do that, Beauty. Lie, just... Not include my name. Just say you talk to the clerk or something. Well, You'll do what you have to. I just want you to know that that would help me. Well, here we are. <sighs> Which one was it? Oh boy. Dang it. Should we go to 204? Because maybe. Sh I'll call her Nestle, but. Okay, there's organ some noises. I don't even want to put my ear up to this because that's just weird, but I, I guess we're doing it. I guess. Uh, so anyways, um... <laughs> Awkward. Oh, boy. Ah, I don't want to miss any investigations. Let's... Oh, boy. Is, is, are all these rooms taken up? Should we just go directly to 207? I'm just gonna look at the numbers. Ah, this is a lot of options to go through, though. God dang it. 205. Maybe there's gonna be. There's no one in there. Okay. Let's knock. Nope. Okay, well, it's worth. Okay. Maybe we should listen to every door, just in case there's someone having. A pleasant little conversation, you know. Knock, knock, knock. Nope. Okay. Let's listen to two hundred seven. This is the one I'm interested in. I wonder if the symbol above the room that looks like Tinker Bell or something. Well, I just see the wings and it looks all magical and stuff. Okay, there's nothing in there. Should I just go? Should I just go directly into this room? Maybe I shouldn't yet, because I need to come to this room, obviously. Oh, it looks like there's lipstick or something in there. Let's knock. We need to come to this room at some point, so maybe we shouldn't come to this room yet. Maybe we should go to the room we are actually got. Should we knock? I don't know. Oh, boy. You don't really have to stay up here with me. Yes, I do. Just do what you have to do. Should I knock? 
I, I guess so. <laughs> no, they can't even hear me. Okay, good. <laughs> I kind of didn't want. Okay. Ah, damn it. Oh, we can open these rooms. Okay, it's locked. You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. I'm not to this one. Hold on, Big B. I can't just let you go into any room you want. I'm a sheriff once again. I mean, what if someone's in there? You can't just go barging in. I'm investigating a murder. Yes. I've got to check out all the angles. You never know what might be significant. Uh, well, I guess. 206. Should we have gone to 207 first? It's like, I feel like 207 is the one I need to go to though, so I shouldn't bother going to that one till later. Okay. Nothing? Okay, good. See anything? Nope. Okay, good. Well, I guess we're doing it with all of them. This one. You better be right about this. Someone's gonna catch me. I mean. Whoa, I thought I saw. Wait, those look like legs over there. Uh. 207's gonna be the last throw I checked. Satisfied? For sure. Yep. Is this going to take a lot longer? Remember, you're not even supposed to be up here. Wait, why am I not supposed to be up here exactly? I don't want to go to 207 yet. I don't really feel like. Oh my god, there's so many things. I don't want to go to 203 either because there's people in there! Ah, let's go in here. Well, scary music doesn't help. Never sure why they have desks in a place like this. For people that have computers, laptops, any things to write, paper stuff to write down. Okay, I'm glad. What's your face isn't here? Well, you get health inspectors through here very often. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Nope. Never. Finding what you're looking for? Yes. I wasn't expecting much in here. But isn't this why you're here? Why you have the key? Nope. No. The key was just to be sure I found the right hotel. This isn't the room Lily was using. Oh. She's gone! She disappeared! What the heck, man? Um. This music's getting more tense, though, which leads me to believe I'm getting warmer. Oh, boy. Should we go to 207? Damn it, see now this is a big choice. Like, do I go to 207? Will that advance the story? Or will I find nothing in there and then I have to barge in and the two people having sex? So, are we done now? No. The room they met in was 207. Ah! See, my, see, look at my freaking, like, it could either be people in here, like, I have to talk to, and then I'll advance the story, or it has to be in here that, like, I'll find a body or something. I guess I'm gonna choose 207 because I... Uh, I don't know. It's so freak. Too many choices. 207. Open this one. Oh, here we go. Oh! That's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, A but. Master it's key. Not <laughs> Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? <laughs> How could you do this to no, me? No, it's not what it looks like! No, sweetie, no! Wait a minute! How could you do this? We've been together through everything! How I do you- I took care of you! I love- It's not what you think! Please! You're cheating on me! With him?! No! No! 